Master and Commander is a fantastic film about naval warfare, loyalty, survival, and brotherhood. It's about a British captain as he traverses through the sea in the name of the British Queen while being hunted by the French fleet. It stars Russell Crowe and Paul Bethany, who give stellar performances, which is not a surprise given these two are Oscar-worthy actors. What really makes this movie special are the practical effects. The naval battles and sword fights looked realistic as hell because there were so many practical effects. The fights were bloody and when cannons shot, the destruction seemed real and not computer generated. I think I only saw maybe one shot in the totality of the film that felt computer generated. There's a scene where Paul Bethany operates on himself and the audience gets a taste of the disgust and nervous tension the characters are feeling. And it's all because of Bethany's performance and the bloody practical effects of the surgery that went on in the shot. What also added to the realism was that it was shot on film and the grain that showed up on the screen pushed the battered and sea-worn look the movie was pushing for. This movie almost seems like a chapter in a long book. There's lots of rich backstory and detail to all the characters, even some of the minor ones. I also liked how it incorporated things from real life, like Charles Darwin and the Galapagos Islands. Did I say that right? Galapagos Galacticos. The Galacticos. And since the movie ends on a cliffhanger, it feels like the sea traversing in the name of the Queen story continues. Let me tell you, that ending, bro was badass it was like it took me by surprise like i was not expecting that like they outwitted russell crowe and it was it was kind of cool to see like his reaction and if it feels like it's a chapter in a book that's because it is it's actually a historical novel by author patrick o'brien i think i might have to check out this book pretty soon the movie actually used replicas of naval ships during that time and the movie actually filmed on the galapagos islands to add to that there was actually a historical consultant for the movie so they really made sure to get the nitty and greedy details to make it feel like if you were actually a character in the naval ships all in all this is an awesome movie with great performances and set pieces and I really recommend you check out this movie. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'll be posting more videos like this one. All right, all right. So, so, so Gladiator, Vision, and Pippin walk into a bar, right? Right, okay? And and then and then what happens, right? Is, 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 is Pippin, no, wait, no. Gladiator says, and, and, the, and the Vision goes, that wasn't my Vision. <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, Vision... His name is Vision. All right, all right. Here's another joke. So, 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 so Pippin, right, and, and Vision and, and Gladiator, they walk into a bar, right? Okay, and then so, so this is hilarious, right? And then, and then Gladiator, right? He goes, he goes, he goes to the bartender. He goes, "Are you the master? Because, because I'm the commander. <laughs> Get it? Because that's the title of the movie, Master and Commander."